What is up guys? It's Awana Turtle and today we are doing another Magic the Gatherer opening. That's right, we're back to opening up Magic cards. It's been quite a little bit, uh, but War of the Spark is right around the corner. So we're going to get in the in the uh, mindset back into Magic by opening up uh, some, some Magic cards. We're starting with Core 20... 2019 um, we'll see we'll probably do like a guilds and then a Ravnica Allegiance as well up to the point when War of the Spark comes out so let's get right into it okay let's see we got core 2019 um, this set was not crazy good but uh, there's some good cards however when it comes to the modern sets it's probably the one I opened up the least or I've opened up a lot more of guilds in Dominaria uh, so we're not going to we'll go through the commons for like the first couple packs and then we'll kind of speed it up mine rot wood card invoke the divine skeleton archer thorn hide wolves uh, well, the thing about core sets is they're not there's not much theme it's kind of I don't, I'm not really sure how they determine it I wonder I'm not sure there's you know not exactly specific mechanics that are going on like the um, sets for the uh, Kind of like uh, the like the Ravnica sets and stuff like that. So we got a Paleka Worm. This card I feel like is always in the core sets, and he was never good. He's still not good, but he's still here for some reason. All right. So not much on that one. Uh, there's still a lot of good cards. I think the one I want, especially since we're going to War of the Spark, would be that Nicol Bolas. Just feels very appropriate given given what's about and uh, what's going on in the the lore in Revolve and when it comes to War of the Spark. Alright, Elvish Rejuvenator, a Bristling Boar, Sky Mark Blood Letter, um, Blood Divination, Reliquary Tower, I think that's actually a pretty good card, um, Seder Enchanter, and then Mystic Archaeologist. Thing that, ooh, here's a uh, foil rare, and we do have a runic armosaur. When opponent activates an ability, a land that isn't a man ability. Hmm, don't think that's any good, but foil rares are always nice to see. All right, at this point, we'll probably go through the commons much quicker. Uh, then after that, we'll we'll just kind of skip them. Shock, always kind of cool. Will always be secondary though to like lightning bolt. Got a thud, <laughs> sift, a knight knightly valor, and then a detection tower. Gets rid of hexproof. Do a foil common. Yeah, Tezzeret emblem. Wouldn't mind pulling a Tezzeret. I feel like Tezzeret's never that good, but I always like Tezzeret because uh, I uh, kind of like when I first got into Magic was during like the Scars or like the Mirrodin Besiege, Scars of Mirrodin, New Phyrexia time period, and so and I really like the artifact stuff. I felt like it was never, never that strong, but I always like to try to make like to try to make like mirrors work. We got an Aether Tunnel, Rise from the Grave. What was that game? The old Sega game that where they said that rise on the grave. We got an Alpine Moon enchantment. Uh, Entrance the battle. Choose a non-basic land card name. Lands your opponent's control. Uh, lose all abilities and they gain add one mana to any color. Sounds like a super watered down version of like Blood Moon or something. Cancel. How many? How many times was cancel reprinted? All right, we got a rose glove, ghost bark twins, Johnny's pride mate, then a goblin trash master. I feel like that card was actually um, pretty interesting for like a goblins uh, deck where. It's just like a utility card where it does have some function. Uh, obviously, there's better options when it just comes to powering up all the goblins and stuff like that. However, just the versatility to, hey, if you're dealing with an artifact, he can also get rid of it. It's kind of nice. All right, make a stand. Nightmares. There's, oh my. It's uh, some horrifying art, horrific artwork. 
Psychonic Symbiote. And then a Gore Claw Terror of Qualsy Sisma. What we have here. Creature cards you cast with power four cost. Ooh. Um, I feel like that's an interesting card. That'd be cool if you could get that to work. Whenever you have to have like a a four mana creature to in order to do something else or like that requires more mana, it's usually not worth it, but with or versus like having an immediate effect. Um usually doesn't it's not good enough, but it's pretty cool. Pretty cool card. Aegis of the Heavens, a Diagraph Ghoul. Ah, this was a big deal in, um, at one point when they had zombies with the, I don't remember the other ones, but there were just some really strong ones. I think there was like a 3-2 one drop or something. Uh, Amulet of Safekeeping. So we have creature tokens get minus one, minus zero, whenever you apply a target, unless the control pays one. Hmm. Okay. All right, let's get a, um, let's get a Mythic or something. Let's get something good. So yeah, overall core 2019, not the um, Reclamation Trades, nice. Not the coolest set, but uh, I think there's definitely a lot of good cards we had. However, they are like almost all in that Mythic slot. Um, and they're, especially when it comes to like the Planeswalkers, they're actually pretty cool. But uh, if you can pull them, here's Nico Bullis token. Oh, what the? So instead of a land card, we got a emblem kind of thing, token. Interesting. All right, we got like three packs left so far. Nothing too crazy. Still looking for a big hit. Let's see what we can do. All right, focus, focus. Blood divination. Text came up. Psychic corrosion. A declared dominance, and then runic armor sore. Ah, we got the foil one as well. Not the foil rare we are looking for. Druid of the Horns. Make a stand. Lightning strike. This is <laughs> the strike versus the bolt. The bolt is significantly better. And then a prodigious growth. Chant creature 7 plus 7. With trample. All right, oh, so I got two packs left, nice. Whoa, what is that? That's a cool artwork. Field Creeper. It's like a scarecrow with a pumpkin head. Rose Gloves. Ooh, another Relicary Tower, nice. Uh, I'm, not, I'm curious where, I feel like this card's actually pretty good, but I'm not sure why, like, when is having a no max hand size really good? I wonder if it's just for a specific combo. Then Mentor of the Meek. This is a card I liked uh, when it first came out. I'd like to try to I try to make it work. Uh, it's just the he just he, he dies too easily, um, and then if he doesn't, maybe you draw like one card um, before something happens to him. But a card I always liked the idea of. Just he didn't seem good enough. Gift of Paradise for oh this is our last pack we some oh, I like this card too I uh, love the idea of it just keep bringing them back but just too slow Aerial Engineer and then lastly come on let's get at least one Mythic guys boom ah Psy Master Theropterus sacrifice two artifacts for a card uh. all right so pretty bad opening not gonna sugarcoat it we did get a foil rare um however it's not very good so uh hopefully we're going to do better in the last part of our booster box and then um definitely looking forward to the guilds and then ravnica allegiance openings which we'll do in the near future as well so um if you did enjoy this content please do me a favor hit that like button down below um and uh yeah if you're excited for war of the spark let me know in the comment below what specific planeswalker because uh there's a lot of them uh which one you think looks the coolest um and uh yeah we'll kind of go from there on that guys i'm moana turtle and i'll catch you guys next time peace <laughs>